Hmm. Should have bet we'd kill the fiend's leader. I don't think we're gonna get any answers around here. Be someone around here who knows this stuff. Let's check the old map. Yeah, it says it's in there, so it's at the other end, I guess. Through here, perhaps. This lady here, maybe she knows something. How do you do? Hello, Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I'm sure I will do. Do you actually work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. Fair enough. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. What? <laughs> the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. <laughs> It's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. Oh. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? I ought to have you arrested. You'll kindly mind your tongue or... Okay. Who did you talk to about their disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Well, I'm investigating someone else, a man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I could talk to this investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see? The White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. We'll see about that. Ta-ta! <laughs> Alright. Inquire with Mortimer about the investigator.
How may I be of service, sir? <laughs> Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Private investigator? Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? I'm on an investigation too. I'm hoping we can help each other. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Indeed. So I'm not, I'm not going to tell him that uh, that I know just yet. Gonna keep him keep him guessing for now. Hey, right, let's go up and check out the rooms. They say it's safer to travel now that the fiends are retreating. But I'd still look out for trouble. Well, and where is it? Apparently, this is the room. Oh, he's dead. A matchbook. Ooh, sunglasses. Thanks for the shades, man. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not good. Not cool. And me with no weapons. Come on. Thanks for the cane. I guess we can, uh... Could put on a disguise as well. So they tried to kill us. That's nice of them. So it looks like it's just the matchbook. They tried to have us killed though, so something's amiss. Let's check out the matchbook. And the matchbook reveals the following is scrolled onto the back of the matchbook. Steam room, 4 p.m. Okay. So it looks like we're going to the steam room then. I don't think there was anything else in this room, was there? No. Right, let's go to the steam room and see what's going on. There's the steam room. Yep. Hello. Cowboy hat, huh? So, here's the steam room. Alright, what time is it? Oh, it's 2 p.m., so we need to wait till 4 p.m. Okay. Wait an hour. Oh, I hate it when it's like 45 minutes. Ugh. Because, you know, if I waited another hour, it'd probably be too much, you know. Is 
Say, let's put Lorraine there. I heard they brought in sea salts from California just for this bath. Let's take a wee dip while we wait. Ah, that's lovely. It's got radiation in it, but it's fine. Actually, it's got no radiation in it. Let's drink some of it. Delicious. Okay, half, half an hour to go. Can we, uh... Ah, booze. Don't mind about you. What else we got? No, no, not a lot behind the bar. It's almost time. Oh, Willow's enjoying a dip, fully clothed. Ah, hello, Shonzi. Who are you? You first. You don't know? Oh, good. That's good. So they didn't send you after me. Where's the gentleman I'm supposed to meet? I couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The devil he did? He was supposed to meet me days ago. Are you in Mortimer's employ then? I found the matchstick on the body in the hotel room. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. So who are you afraid of exactly? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Oh, nice. So Mortimer's behind all these disappearances, huh? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. So, uh, what were you supposed to discuss here, exactly? The girl. The one who disappeared. Oh. I know what happened to her. How do you know what happened to the girl, though? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying hmm. to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. So where were they keeping Ted then? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can hmm. bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you, you can do to help me at all? I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. 
Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any other suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks. And then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Hmm. Ted's father's a wealthy man with his, his resources. This could easily... This should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's hmm. built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Hmm. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Okay, then. Again, as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Oh, man. An assassin, eh? Well... We got a couple of options open to us. Uh, I don't think dressing up is gonna help. Uh, oh, maybe it will help. I don't know. Being disguised, this one might help. On <laughs> yeah, uh, where are we going? Yeah, beyond the beef. Find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Drug the wine at the banquet. Get rid of Philippe the cook. Using his recipe for human flesh. I want to do that one. Find a way to access the gourmand. Okay. Here's the gourmand. Now all we need to do is find the entrance. Uh -huh. Ah, here's the kitchen. And it's locked. Hmm. We could steal a key or something. Must be a way to get a key somehow. Now I'm hidden. Ah, key. So I, I got infamy even though I haven't been detected. Okay. Well, at least I have the key. Whatever. <laughs> it's like, how would they know? 
How would they know it was me? Ow. They wouldn't know. Damn it. That's a load of rubbish. Oh, come on, I got the key. Why do I need to pick the lock? Oh. Fine. So, we're inside. Looks like someone's working on the meat there. Don't mind me, lads, coming through. Right. Oh, there's a lift to the kitchen. No, oh, that's not a lift. That's a dead end, I think. Yeah. There's a guy patrolling, but I don't know if he's gonna stop us. Oh, there he comes. You, what do you oh, think dear. you're doing? What you doing? Dump him somewhere like over here. There we go. Should do the job. Come on, GT, really? Come on, get out of there. Bloody companions. Hey. This is the wine. Ah, there's the cook. The chef. Philippe's recipes. Excellent. Now all we need to do is bump off Philippe, I think. perhaps let's put him over back here I hopefully he won't be noticed First time. Mm. 
My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it, I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at them. There's no time to explain, we have to go now. Alright, fine. I'm right behind you. Okay. Have a look at the old recipe list. Sweet veal. I wonder how you make sweet feel. A survival of 75 or higher is required to improvise a meal using no recipes. Cook in, in, imitation human flesh. Come on, move it. Come on, move it. Well, well. That's cool, he to come anyway. <laughs> it probably won't work. Oh, that's not the right thing. How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. But no one is in their chairs yet. Surely we should wait until seven. I'll be ready when... Okay, let's wait till seven then. How may I assist? Very well. I think I'm gonna wait around for nine minutes. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna say with all these people here. Um, I guess we're just gonna try and hide out in here and hope for the best. Hope he doesn't notice that we kill the chef and there's a bit of leg there. Oh dear. It's a bit <laughs> It's like uh I think they might notice the bit of leg here. Maybe we should move that leg yeah. And they might notice the severed leg. It's a bit of a clue, isn't it? A bit of a clue that someone might have been killed here. And recently. Maybe this other bit, this, this, uh, this hand. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Oh, hungry? That's what you want I that? talk about, huh? Food? You're hungry, I Willow. Do you want this hand? I something else once in a while. But Would that, I like food. Uh, a lot. Would that be nice for you? I don't know. Why are you saying you're hungry when I'm carrying a severed arm? It's kind of marginally disturbing. Okay, right, we're done. And it's time. So let's call the, uh, the waiter. How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. At once. I've got you now. Oh god. That's not good. Did you see that? Oh, we killed the head waiter. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> well, it hasn't failed the mission somehow. No, yeah, anyway. And then, how do we get up? Hmm. I 
guess we just head out. That's not the right way. Ah, he's the meal. Trouble. What do you need? Indeed. Greetings. This is we're going terribly wrong, I have a feeling. Hello. Greetings. How do you fare? <laughs> How do you fare? How do you fare? We got bugged here. I bugged here. Oh. I guess we get Ted back to his father. <laughs> oh well. I think I mucked it up, but whatever, I don't care. Let's see, how do we get out? At least we saved his Bitter son. Springs. I don't really care what happens like to the rest of them. <laughs> his dad can burn it to the ground for all I care. My my character isn't evil, so. Guess I'll dress in my normal stuff. I guess those kings finally got who's the real boss around here. Tell me good news. Ted's been kidnapped. He's here in the hotel. He's here? Bless you. I thought he was a goner for sure. Listen, you do what you gotta do to find him. I'd send my men with you, but I'm worried they'd kill Ted if we got close. Reckon you might need one of these. Take it. Just don't wave it around here where they might take it from you. I'll be here. Uh, oh no. Did the sun die? Where's the sun? Oh, give me a break. Is he dead? The sun dead? Howdy. He can't be. Tell me good news. I'll be here. Where the frick did his son go at? His son was just with me Should've a moment ago. Kill the fiend's leader. Fine. There you are. Come on. Come on. Stop fighting. He's stuck in fighting, you know. Come on, really? It's 
Certainly you can buy the same drinks more cheaply elsewhere. But the point of drinking at top shelf is Come on, you city man. Fine. See what he does when I go outside. Cause he's like stuck in this combat mode and it's just like oh dear. <laughs> what a mess. I knew I should have grabbed him later on. Now he's reset. Now hopefully we can take him back to his father without freaking out. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to t My deepest apology, but we simply please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Ted, are you all right? Hey. Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. <laughs> it was Mortimer, one of the white gloves, who had head taken. He's the cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Yeah, but that's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. All right, so it was a, it was a happy ending. We got our money, it was a happy ending. We managed to save him from trash in the place. You know, I, I call, I'm calling that a win. It was a bit clumsy, but a win, you know none, but a win none of, nonetheless. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. See you next time.